Today's video we learn, how to accurately weight in analytical balance. Hello, I am Virain Godasara, and you are watching Intelligent Learning. The true sign of intelligence is knowledge, but imagination. In this video we imagination. General characteristic of receiver. Weighing of solid samples. And weighing of liquid samples. General characteristic of receiver. All receivers must be clean, dry and inert. Total weight of the receiver plus the specimen must less than capacity of the balance. Properly maintain and adjusted laboratory balance, weighing uncertainty of small mass. Net weights with the mass not exceeding typically a few percent of the capacity of the balance, essentially is determined by the repeatability. Repeatability depends on the size and surface area of the weighed object. For this reason, large or heavy receivers introduce a deviation from the conditions under which the repeatability was determined without considering the receivers. Therefore, either receivers of a low mass and small surface should be used, especially in cases when specimens of low weight are being measured, or the repeatability test should be performed with the receiver placed on the weighing pan as a preload. Receivers should be constructed from non-magnetic materials in order to prevent magnetic interference with electronic balance components. Receivers should be used at ambient temperature in order to prevent the formation of air currents within the weighing chamber. Weighing of solid samples. Receivers for weighing solid materials include weighing paper, weighing dishes, weighing funnels, or enclosed vessels, including bottles, vials, and flasks. Hygroscopic papers are not recommended for weighing because they may have a detrimental effect on the observed results. Weighing dishes typically are constructed from a polymer or from aluminum. Weighing funnels typically are constructed from glass or from a polymer. The design of this type of receiver combines attributes of a weighing dish and a transfer funnel, which can simplify the analytical transfer of a weighed powder to a narrow-necked vessel such as a volumetric flask. For solid samples that are volatile or deliquescent, analysts must weigh the material into an enclosed vessel. Where practical, analysts should use an enclosed vessel with a small opening in order to reduce sample weight loss from volatilization or weight gain from the adsorption and absorption of atmospheric water. Weighing of liquid samples. Receivers for liquid samples typically are inert, enclosed vessels. Special precautions should be taken to be certain that the receiver and the enclosure are constructed from a material that is compatible with the liquid sample. For liquid samples that are volatile or deliquescent, analysts should use an enclosed vessel with a small opening, and the enclosure should be replaced rapidly following material transfer. The receiver and enclosure must have a seal that is sufficient to prevent leaks from a liquid that is of low viscosity or has low surface tension or a low boiling point. Quick recap of this video. Receiver should be inert. Weighing should be done within operating range. Net weight should be more than minimum capacity of balance. Repeatability should be performed with preload. Temperature, humidity, air current, magnetic field, static charge can impact accuracy of weighing. Special precaution should be taken volatile and deliquescent specimen. Thanks for watching. I hope enjoying video, hits the thumbs up, share this video for your friend and colleague, do not forget the subscribe for update, and see you in next video.